Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting green to episode 10 of Dance Dance Sir. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Ow. Yeah, but he's not there. Can you believe next week is the final episode? Because I was expecting this to have an even amount of number of episodes, and it's only 11, but it should have been 12 in my opinion. But I, I feel like, because of course, as I've said in the past, this is an underrated gem. Um, do I think it's going to get a season two? I mean, it's... Mm, maybe. That's what I'll say. I think we'll we'll talk a little bit more about that when we get to the finale next week. Um, and probably where they're ending book-wise, because it, it's very familiar or similar to Smile Down the Runway and how I felt about that series. And when that show ended, I was so heartbroken, and I was like, I need a season two! And I think that show ended, I think, between last year or the year before last year, so either 2021 or 20, or, or 20, um... And that hasn't gotten a season two, and I really want that show to get a season two because that was a really damn good underrated show. Like, ugh. I want it so bad. I want underrated shows to get season twos, but I get it if we don't have the money and the budget because of reasons and such, and if it's not as good as competing with other shows at the time, but still, like, for me and other people, we want that ish. She put all that pressure on you, and eventually her daughter, and then eventually Leo. Mm hmm Mm-hmm.
not. She's so evil. Want more? Oh. But she found my Mm -hmm. Oh, he's so beautiful.
ashes, right? I know he will be so much better now. I don't like the way this is going. No!
just got together and now we break it up. What's <laughs> This is so fucked up. Are you serious? Oh, my heart. I understand why we got to do this, but like, uh, oh. I thought it was a lot darker. Well, change, you know, painting and ish. You have to for your dream. She's only praising me because of the fact it's with her. Oh!
they're gonna end. Of course you end it right there. Oh my god, you SOBs. I wanted to see the whole performance in the sand. The fact is, because, okay, both of his, his mom and Miyoko are his saviors. So, if somebody is on his turf, aka on his mom, or on Miyoko, aka Junpei, of course he's gonna feel some type of way. The savior complex that he has to, you know, if he doesn't have that person around him, he feels empty. And you can see that in the moments that he just had at the end of this episode, plus a couple of weeks ago as well. And, mm, but okay, seeing his grandmother again and how she's a completely different person because of her dementia, you, you would look at her and it's so weird because I looked at her in the moment and you're thinking like, okay, you're, you're getting reminded of everything that you just saw in this episode and like little pieces of moments in previous episodes. And you see this woman who was just, you know, this happy woman. But when you look at her, you're like, is this the same person that did all these things when she was at a certain age? Because of course she doesn't remember any of that. She doesn't remember all these torments that she did to him but of course Leia will always remember that but I don't think you know when he was younger of course he felt a certain type of way about his grandmother I, I bet you you know any kid would if someone did that to them I still can't believe next week's the last episode. Like, bro, like, however they end this show, it, it's going to be, like, a cliffhanger ending, something where it's just going to be like, go read the manga. Go read the effing manga. But continuing on that, um, of course, like, like I said, Leo remembers everything. Now when he's getting the praise, because his grandmother thinks he is her daughter, when he dances and everything, and especially the how he dances and stuff. And he's like, I'm finally getting the praise that I rightfully deserved when I was a kid. All those torturous, you know, moments and days where this happened, X, Y, and Z happened, are all worth it when she is now finally praising me at something that I am good at. And, you know, it, it's sad. It really is truly sad because you feel, you know, even till today, he still has PTSD, like major, 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 major PTSD over that shit. And I don't think he'll ever get over that. He's only a teenager in this show. So I can't even imagine if he's in the world, in the adult world of ballet, and someone says something else that makes him go into that emotional state again, and then he has a breakdown or something. I mean, it, it's different when you're like a teenager and stuff. And you were trying not to show your emotions around everyone, but then sometimes when you're an adult, it is a little bit harder and such. And so, I mean, the one thing that I'm kind of hoping that they possibly do for his character is that they do give get him some therapy or something. He needs to um, talk it out with someone. Yeah, he has Miyako. Because, like I said, Miyako is his, his saving grace, his savior and such. But he needs someone, and it could be Junpei. It could also be an official therapist. And who knows, like, what the heck they're currently doing in the manga with this show or with this series and stuff uh, for his character. But he really needs to convey his feelings and his emotional trauma from this situation because if he continues down this road, it's not going to be the greatest for him. It, it Technically, it, it's like this. Some days are good days and some days are bad days. And so you just don't know how to personally feel about him. And you just, you feel for him. He's just the precious baby boy that I love so freaking much. But yeah, I hate the fact that we're, the show is ending next week. I really don't want this show to end because it's such a very good, interesting series. And even though, yeah, it's hella underrated and, and such because so many people are watching so many different things and, you know, you only get a certain amount of episodes to impress someone or you get that one episode to impress somebody and if someone doesn't like it, they all move on. But Seriously, like, I have to say, this is the underrated anime of this season. Besides, there's so many others as well. But in my opinion, yeah, this is number one. Like, definitely. Even though we're not done with it, it is by far number one. Every single week consistently has been good. Has left me feeling certain types of way. And when we get to next week, yeah, I will miss this ish terribly. I feel like this is going to be one of those series that I am going to buy on Blu-ray, just like how I'm going to do 
whenever they end up restocking Smile Down the Runway because I really still want that show so freaking bad because I enjoyed the hell out of it when I watched it. And just to relive those memories. Same thing with Gal and Dino because Gal and Dino is finally getting a dub. And I'm like, guys, let's go because, oh, I need it in my life because I love that show so freaking much. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction review towards episode 10 of Dance Dance Disser. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day for the National Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for the final episode. Bye, guys.